trailer dropped this week for the new Ranma One Half anime adaptation, which is very exciting. And yeah, we're gonna uh, actually I will pop that up also on that end. And uh, I don't think there's not a, like an easy way to show this to you all. We'll just kind of bounce back and forth between full screen that and full screen this. So yes, there is now. Uh, a trailer for the new Rama One Half adaptation, and they've gone a very interesting direction with the art style. Um, it's much like the old art style. <laughs> they haven't really... Uh, I mean, they've obviously modernized it to an extent, but they're keeping a, a sort of flat visual style with the art and the character designs. Still, um, I would say even closer to the manga than the original anime uh, in, in a lot of ways. And going for that more pure uh, Takahashi style and something that would not look out of place back in the 1990s, I think. Yeah. As an anime, which is pretty cool. I also do like the kind of um, uh, relatively light, almost pastel color palette mm -hmm. where not a lot of dark contrast in here. Um, definitely on the, the lighter side, visually, um, art style, but also all the, a lot of the iconic images that we're familiar with here. Um, looks to be all hand-drawn on computer, you know, classically. Um, so I don't see any obvious CGI. And yeah, that is a thing. It yeah. really makes me wonder, this is obviously a callback to people who like the original Rama, so that mm -hmm. doesn't diverge too wildly from that to keep them in, in the mm -hmm. zone, I'm guessing. Yep. Ch visual choice. <laughs> yeah. Um, they announced this a while back, so we knew it was coming. This is our first like real good look at the the art style. So, awesome. I am hoping that it will hew close to what we saw before and mm -hmm. the people will take in stride the uh, rather broad comedy of Ron Moe and Half. <clears throat> I think people forget how much of a kind of screwball comedy Ron Moe and Half is. Yeah. Uh, and it is not meant to be taken taken too seriously. So hopefully that will we will we will get that that mood this time around. Um, also uh, we've got an announcement of a new um, movie coming up made entirely by generative AI. Mm -hmm. So this is called Generidoscope, as in Kaleidoscope, but generative AI Discope, right? Okay. And they've got, um, we have a few images of it. In fact, I might just like switch over so you guys can see. Uh, as, as before, I won't do any audio, but you'll be able to see some of the images of this. Um, all various generative AI images. It looks like they're using a lot of these new um, tools where you can generate an image and then tell it to animate that image. So it's, you know, so it's not necessarily, it doesn't know how to make that character stand up and walk away, but it can make that character, you know, move forward slightly or shift a little bit or open and close their mouth. And so you, you use that to tell your story. It's supposed to be, um, um, let's see, here. let's do, there we go. Uh, where, where's the actual, uh, anime clips? Um, there was stuff that was in more of an anime style, but anyway, um, so that is the plan. Uh, it, it was obviously um, uh, put together in a, in a variety of ways. There's a, there's a staff putting this together uh, to you know, do the prompts and all that kind of stuff. But they, they say that the, the music voices and images will all be generative AI. Okay. Wow. I didn't think we had advanced that far in AI quite yet, but okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, it's very interesting. Um, I'm looking forward to see see what they what they do that. Now, Brent, how much AI music have you listened to? A few things here and there. It, is it? Can it do? Can it piece together words, or is it mostly just yeah. musical score? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Okay. It, it can do words. Um, so does it sound like a native speaking person doing something? Yep. Yep. Um, I haven't okay. heard anything that, that, to do a full length song, for example. Okay. Um, maybe because I haven't, you know, paid for a service that then, you know, um, does that. So I'm, I'm getting samples. Okay. Um, so I don't know how. The problem with AI in general is that it can't go that far, right? It can generate up to a certain point, but then much beyond that, and it's just kind of guessing randomly, more or less. Uh, mm -hmm. It's going to keep it on task, generally speaking. So okay. um, I don't know how well it could kind of hold a concept, but you could do generative AI to say, give me a, you know, the lyrics to a song. You could probably do that, and then give that to a thing to say, okay, sing this. That, that would be doable. Hmm. Okay. Because mm -hmm. that'll be the part I'll be interested to see is like how the music comes together. Mm -hmm. You know, oddly enough, yeah. not, not that I don't want to see the rest of it, but it's certainly yeah, yeah. I would just see the music part of it. Yeah, yeah. Like, curious. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Uh, so that is a thing that's coming. So that is that is interesting. We will see where that goes. Thank you.